Is he still trying to break in? Okay. Did you put something in, um, in front of your door? Stay in your room. We have officers on their way. Menominee, Wisconsin, a peaceful town in the heart of Dunn County. But on the night of January 21st, 2023, this quiet community became the scene of a violent confrontation with an armed and dangerous home invader. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! What's going on? Okay, who was it? Who was it? Okay, what kind of vehicle did you drive? Okay, what kind of vehicle did you drive? And it's in the parking lot? Are you injured at all, Ryan? Do so you still have a weapon? He shot through your door? And he, is your door shut or is he in your apartment? He's pulling out with your car. Yep, I'm still here. Hold on one second. I'm going to be trying to listen to them, okay? Okay. So I just need you to in your apartment, okay? Don't worry about the suspect because officers are out. It began with a break-in. Just before 9 p.m., the call came into dispatch. A man had forced his way into a home on Bongi Drive, armed with a gun and was threatening to kill the homeowner. The victim was able to barricade themselves behind a door, but that's when the intruder fired a gunshot. It's any homeowner's worst nightmare come true. You got room to carry this for a second? Yep. It's quite a jaunt. I don't know if that went through. Is there anybody that can stop it? Oh, they're hollering at him. We gotta be close. Watch across. We got more cover. Pulled into an address. Get over here. We don't have any cover. I know, grab cover, goddammit! Can anybody see him? You see him, 405? Did you guys see where he went? No, we have that blocked off. Okay. 103, 226. Come from the north, go past us, past Terrell. I can still see brake lights on somewhere down past Terrell. We think he's there. Can't tell um, if he foot bailed or what. And our we're just trying to get inside to check on our victim now before we approach. Got a what? Rough Rough on Terrell and Bongi. Just come to Terrell and Bongi, you'll see us. It looks like the driver's side door's open, I'm not 100% sure though. Is that the like... How south there were people that were getting out and into another vehicle. That's definitely a car that was backed up to that. Did you ever see him come out, get out? No, he opened the door, so he backed out right here. Backed all the way Let's down. get some f cover and then just cover our flanks and make sure he didn't, doesn't come around the corner here. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's stay, just stay tight if we can. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Black handgun, he's fired up some shots. Does he know him? One or three headquarters information. No! Stop! Hey, stop! 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 You have the car run back! Back, back up! Back up! Back up, please! Back up! Sorry, we're trying to stop a vehicle from the from the danger zone here. Uh, black hand gunny had fired at least two rounds at the victim inside. That's uh, for sure. This is him. He's coming right at us. Grab the cover. Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! Get out go! Here! Go! Go! Get out go! He's coming in here. Grab cover. He's coming in. Okay, go to the room. The suspect then got into the victim's blue PT cruiser as it sat in the driveway. Officers already in the area were quick to confront him as he drove the stolen vehicle through the neighborhood, still armed with a handgun. Get out of the vehicle! PT Cruiser heading southbound and bought me toward at the intersection of 28th. Hey, I got cover. Guns clear. Hey, somebody clear the car! I'll, 
I got it. Get on him. I got it. Get on him. Cars clear. 26 County. Shots fired. One suspect down. Everyone's good? We, yeah. We need EMS. All right. Secure him. Help Jake secure him. Drop your guns. Go three headquarters. We need EMS. All officers are good. All officers are good. Huh? With the suspect down, officers quickly began first aid. We have details on his condition at the end, but first the investigation on whether the officer's use of force was justified. Hey, I need a team to break off from this and check for any victims past where we shot, okay? Tim Bloom? I'll do it. Cal. Mine went right that way, Roll. I shot, I shot multiple this way. Roll EMS up to Terrell Mbongi, and we're checking for any potential victims past where we fired. Can you contact 100, 101, and 102 for me, please? MN Crime reviewed dozens of documents. Hundreds of photographs from the scene and hours of dispatch transmissions and 911 audio. We obtained drone video, squad car camera, and the body cam recordings of the officers who responded. Investigators were meticulous, detailing their work in hundreds of pages of documents we obtained through open records requests. They examined DNA from the scene, blood samples and evidence including the clothing officers were wearing, among the forensic investigation that took more than a year to complete. But this wasn't just a story of a break-in gone wrong. Ciccarelli was found with a cocked 357 revolver, ready to fire, and 17 grams of methamphetamine in his car. Toxicology reports later revealed high levels of meth in his system. This was a man who was apparently on the edge and whose actions forced a deadly encounter. Despite immediate first aid, Ciccarelli died at the scene. Finally, the officers involved would learn their fate Based on the evidence, including the witness statements and body cam footage, authorities later determined that the officers acted in self-defense and they were justified under the circumstances.